Thank you all so much for stopping by today. So y'all, I just wanted to keep y'all posted. I am getting ready for the movers tomorrow and I have not moved in 13 years. And so most of the time I get ready, but it's a different type of move. You know what I mean? Like we still have movers that are coming to move. And so we have to prep, but I don't know. It's just it's different. Maybe because I'm older. I'm going to tell y'all right now because I should be like finishing up. Like I'm really just calling a stopping point in a few minutes. I cannot tell you how many times I have quit. I seriously quit. I cannot realize, like I still can't believe in 13 years how many things I have accumulated. Especially in the attic, y'all. Um... Last night, I was just like, my feet are burning and I can't do, I told Chris, I can't do anything else, but he did push me. So really quick, I'll tell y'all, like Chris is the type of person, if he's going to get something done, he'll like continuously keep on until it gets done, no matter how tired, how frustrated, how hungry, how, whatever. Me, I told y'all before, I will take breaks. And I, that's what I've been doing like all day. Like I will work for about an hour, hour and a half, and I'll take me a break because I just cannot, or I thought I couldn't just like continuously like keep doing the same thing. Um, so last night was really a test. Today is a test. Um, a lot of things I've had to seriously like talk to myself and say, you're moving to a new location and... A lot of things you're not going to need these containers for so just let it go and which I have been doing and so I'm gonna get the last few things and try to get my clothes that we're gonna take with us in a box as a matter of fact I don't even know where my stand is I'm holding this phone with my hand because I don't feel like looking in a box I was supposed to cook, but guess what? I packed a lot of my seasonings up, so and I don't feel like looking in a box. So I just wanted to keep you all posted. So here is the update. So we have found a temporary place to move into, and I'll show you all that. It does not get a lot of sun, but we're gonna take it from beginning to end. I'm still taking some plants, I tell you that, but we're gonna take it to beginning to end on wherever I go, because we've moved in the past before, like how I assess the area, how I figure out what I'm going to plant. So if you're not subscribed, go ahead, hit the subscribe button because we're going to go through the whole process. So we've already been looking because we don't want this to be so temporary where it becomes complacent. So it's an apartment that we're going to move into just to assess the area. Like, is that really the area that we want to be in or do we want to move further west, further north? um see how we like it because that's what it is it's temporary and like i've shared with you all before in the past just being in the military you're kind of rushed so you're either going to do something or you're not because you only get so many days and then um you just want to kind of get settled so this is temporary i have gotten rid of so many things y'all i cannot believe like i was so frustrated last night that as Chris was throwing things, throwing things down from the attic, I was just like, get rid of it, get rid of it. Get it. I, I just cannot believe how we have moved things from duty station to duty station to duty station. Like seriously, I had nursing school books from when I was in nursing school back in the 90s. And I'm like, get rid of it. You're not going back to nursing school. You're not a nurse. <laughs> get rid of it. Um, it, it's just, it was just so much. And I still got two boxes left that I need to go with, but I wanted to get my garden stuff set aside for the movers. And so I'm almost done. Um, and then, um, it's a lot of things that I said I was going to take that after just being so like, I don't know. I'm just like, leave it here. I hope the new owners love it. If not, they can sell it. You know, that's that's really where I am right now. And even some of the containers that I'm taking, I still am questioning myself, but I, I'm just like, okay, a lot of things I'm leaving. 
but we're still leaving things in great condition. Um, I wanna show you my onions real quick. I probably will snag a couple before I leave. <laughs> I'll probably take like a couple of onions before I leave. Um, I wanna show you the roses that are blooming so pretty. But I will take y'all, I told you, I'm gonna take you along on a journey. So I'm not gonna be out here long because I have literally, I haven't pulled, I don't, I don't, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I don't pull all nighters, I don't. But Friday night, I stayed up pretty late and I'm on such a routine now that when my body is off, I can tell. And so I was very, very tired yesterday, but I just kind of pushed through and I stayed up. Well, I worked longer than my norm because Chris was like, we only got a little bit more left. We only got a little bit more left. And I was like, we got to do it early in the morning. But he was like, we only got a little bit more left. So I do appreciate him for pushing me. I knew what I had it in me, but I, I'm like that. Y'all comment below. Tell me, are you willing to pull an all-nighter or push it through? Or do you take breaks? Because I'm telling y'all right now, I take, I do. I take a lot of breaks. And I was telling myself the whole time, you should have started on this probably about three weeks ago. Like when we listed the house for sale, that's really when I should have like started on this. Um, but everything was like up in the air. And then I do have to thank, um, I'll tell y'all this story later on how we got with this realtor because um, the lady that told me this, she was like, I'm telling you right now, they're very aggressive and it didn't take our house long to sell it all. And the same thing has been true for this one. Like I'm really shocked but I'm thankful. I'm thankful it did not take long at all. So let me show you some of the onions. I'm really considering, I don't know y'all, um, cutting off a couple of the broccoli rob stalks and just putting them upside down in a brown paper bag and just letting them dry. Um, I don't know. I'm thinking about that. I just really don't know. I've been replanting some things, like some of the pots that I really, really want. Um, I have been replanting in the pots that I'm not going to take, um, just so not to mess up things. And I just want them to come in here and just be like, okay, we got some things to harvest or we got some things to sell. You know, it's totally up to them. But let me turn the camera around and let me just show you some of the last parts of the garden before we get we still have about mm, 10 days left here but um chris is going through the process of you know um getting all of the utilities cut off and um like we're down to the end i'm just gonna tell y'all right now and again tomorrow morning is when the movers are supposed to come we've tried to separate things out and like i said we've done this by being in the military y'all we used to move like every three years um and so it's a, it's a chance to start something new and i don't know this time i feel like a little bit more attached to things because we've been here for 13 years but i'm like just think of it like when we were active duty and it's a chance to start new, get new things because I, I can't tell you how many things I've left behind like overseas. Like it's a different thing overseas because a lot of things you cannot like bring back over um, to the U.S. So we'll see how this goes. I'm going to see what the movers say tomorrow. Um, and my, my whole conversation is either if you can pack it, pack it. If not, I'll figure out what I take, even if it's down like to my parents' house or whatever. But I'm going to, I'm going to start over here really quick because I've been putting some little snippets on TikTok and Instagram. So if you're not following us over there, make sure you do. Cause I put more day to day things on there as far as what's going on in the garden. But let me turn the camera around, kind of show you what's going on and what's blooming. And so how we're going to leave the garden. So let's go ahead and let's get started.
Okay, so this is our kind of rose garden here. We got our alliums that are popping up right here. I don't think these are the Globe Master, but they were really pretty. I did not get a chance to shape this tree, y'all. This is the boxwood, and I was supposed to shape it in a circle. I've shaped it twice before, but it continuously grows. Did not get a chance to shape it, but the Desdemona have really been blooming. Um, the last video I told you I was going to um, put some rose tone on there, and I did. Um, the Queen of Sweden had not started blooming, but here she is right here, very pretty. And one of the catalogs that I'm going to take with me and really like study, study the size, study the width, study the area, because the zone, we're in 8B now, y'all, but I do think that um, the area we're going in, I think there's 7B. So my growing period is going to um be cut a little bit but also i can grow more things that i couldn't grow here but i can't grow as many tropical i'll keep you all posted because it, it i don't want to like bombard you it kind of sounds um confusing but it's some things that i've had been wanting to grow but i couldn't but now i can but some things i got to give up that i could grow here that i can't this is the desdemona again if I have time, because I'm taking some of my garden tools, if I have time, I'll come in and try to deadhead the spent blooms. I was thinking about taking my little lady. I may not. Um, I don't know. I'm telling y'all, maybe this is what I need to do to... <laughs> Chris said, this is what I need you to be like all the time. I'm just like, forget it. Just leave it. So um, if I have time to deadhead, I will. If not, then we're not going to stress out about it. I've done enough of that. So really quick, let me take you over here um, because things are looking, they're looking good, y'all. They're still looking the same. This Eustacia Vi, I got three of these and I love them. And these are what I would consider mid bloomers. When I tell y'all these are gonna be so pretty, I love, 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 love. Um, this one, Eustacia Vi by David Austin roses and we got three and they're starting to bud out and bloom look at all the buds on here and they're very fragrant over here i'm just gonna point y'all our rosa ragosa i was growing that for medicinal purposes because they make really big rose hips and so that's what i was using those for some of those have been blooming and then right here is the raised bed i was telling you about where i'm going to harvest probably a couple of onions before i leave so these up front they're garlic chives then we got some baby bok choy which the slugs have been having a time with it because we've had some rain and i caught a couple of them and got them off if i put a lot of my things up so I'll, I'll have to see if I still have my sluggo somewhere. I'm not promising that, but if I have my sluggo, then I'll try to put some around there because I know that these are slugs. I caught them red-handed, but these are the baby bok choy. Actually, if I wanted to at this stage, I could like saute a little bit. Now, if you remember when we put our bone meal on here, remember I put it around here. Look how big these onions are getting. Just look, 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 look. So. I probably will snag this one, that one, maybe like three, and then leave the other ones to get a little bit bigger for the new uh, owner. And then we have our curly kale right here and some Swiss chard that is growing. We're gonna leave this here. We're gonna leave this time. We're gonna leave the pansies. And so um, that's what's going on with this bed. But this is what I was telling y'all about right here is where I may just some of the bigger seed pods i may just cut and just hang upside down to dry and see if we can get good germination with this because this is the broccoli rob right here and remember i told you that they were kind of blocking this lemon time over here so a lot of times i move it i'm still gonna leave it here i don't know i don't know I just don't know because I don't want the seeds to like all just waste right here and then you get a whole bunch of broccoli rob, you know, because look how many seed pods are on this one plant and they're still making more and they still have flowers. Very beautiful. So I don't know. Um, we pulled most of the carrots. We still got a few. We got our garlic chives in the front. A few beets are starting to pop up that I planted. 
Um, they're very slow, so I'm not sure about the germination rate, but this is what I wanted to show y'all. So these Johnny Jump Ups are all self-sown. I don't know if the birds brought them over here. I don't know if the wind brought them over here, but um, they're in this plant of grapes. But y'all, I know I'm gonna have to get somebody to build me like a grape and berry trellis because this is the start of grapes right here. Right here, this is how grapes start. And we have a pixie grape on the, what do you call it? We had a pixie grape on the patio that gives us about two clusters. It's in a small container. It gives us about two clusters, but we have those. And then our, these are from Stark Brothers. What is this? This is our nectarine. They had such beautiful pink flowers. So now they're starting to leaf out. This is our pink lemonade uh, blueberry plant that's starting to get blueberries on here, if you can see it. And then right here, I underplant it with calendula. And I thought they were gonna stay little, I did. I thought they were gonna stay very little. So that's why I underplanted them. But this is the blood, this is the blood orange right here. But I thought these were gonna stay so little, but look at this, look at this. They are so pretty. So I'm just gonna let them, I have been, I have been coming out here like deadheading them so that they can get more blooms. So that's that. Um, our apple tree have not yet started to bud out. Our horseradish is starting to come, but let me tell you what I have been picking is the California poppy that we started from seed. This was more medicinal for me. California poppy is great with like, um, remember from the last video, I always tell y'all talk to your doctor, okay? Um, it's great for um, inflammation and um, pain and just to kind of relax you. So I was gonna make a tincture out of these California poppies, but that's okay. Like I've already said to myself that when I get there, a lot of these plants, that's why I'm giving up some of the containers. Cause I'm like a lot of these plants, I can map out, I can plant out and they'll go straight into the ground. They don't need to go into containers. And if you remember our last video, I'll link that where we planted some quick things for like instant gratification. So these are the turnips um, that are coming up. And then we still have a little bit of kale and these are the radishes that are starting to come up. Um, I'm gonna try to thin it out, y'all. It's getting, it, it really is getting down to like the wire. So I have to really hurry up and stop playing games, which I'm known to do. So we had our moringa in here and um, moringa is one that is very frost sensitive. So um, with that, we pull that up because it gets really tall, really quick. It grows really fast. Um, this is a persimmon and a peach tree that I'm, if I can remember, if I can remember, uh, I will actually take these, um, I'll, I'll actually take these right here. And then just really quick, just a couple things that are going on that, you know, um, the calendula. Now these are the ones that are a little bit more medicinal that I was using for calendula oil, which is very good um, for skin issues, itching, eczema, things like that. And then our parsley, curly parsley over here. The flat leaf parsley was actually going to seed. And so we went ahead and pulled that. And I have a um, banana that is coming back up. Now these are elderberries. I'm, I'm leaving those as well. This is our olive tree um, right here. We had a few olives last year, not enough to like grind, but we did have some. And so um, we're gonna leave these as well. Banana coming up. These are more California poppies, but they're more of the ornamental type. And then this is another type of elderberry right here. And so what I'm gonna do now, this is, I love these salvias. The bees and butterflies love it. I am gonna take this. And again, where we're staying temporarily, it does not get a lot of sun. So we're just gonna see what the end is gonna be temporarily. If it just doesn't do it, then I will try to propagate them, which I have been propagating some things. Um, one isn't doing good, but the others are the figs, the hydrangea, what else to propagate? My tea olive, that's doing good. But I wanna take you over here. The celery is doing good. I may take a little bit from here in the patio container 
just to have for my smoothies when we get to the new place. And the reason why I say that is because for the last couple of days, like I've been trying to do right, but not eat out too much. So like today I pick up, picked up a rotisserie chicken and some of the vegetables that you kind of like put in the microwave. But like I told Chris, I don't, I don't like to eat out like that um, because I definitely notice a difference in the way I feel. So I definitely got to get back on my juices and on my kombucha, which I have inside. I know he's going to freak out about that because I'm taking my kombucha with the SCOBY, okay? And it's just going to sit very, if I got to put a seatbelt around it, it's going to sit there. But this is another David Austin Rose too. This is Darcy Bustle and she is very pretty and she's starting to put on a lot of blooms. So right now i have taken up some of my shepherd hooks and put the container strawberries i just kind of set them right here i'm not going to take these containers um with me but i just you know just kind of put the strawberries right here um if they want to get some shepherd hooks because i love my shepherd hooks and then this one right here um, is the snapdragon i'm going to try to cut this down this is the mexican petunia but you can see how it's coming back up I'm going to try to cut it down, y'all. When the time is up, the time is up. I'm going to do as much as I can. But again, when time is up, time is up. Um, I, I think, I don't know if I'm going to take this hydrangea with me. It's some things I may leave, I may take. This is lemon verbena, and I already got some growing. I don't know. I'm telling y'all right now, um, Chris is going to let me take some of the plants. But if I start, like, getting too many... He is going to really, really start acting up. So we will see on that. Let me show you what I will be taking to kind of put, there is a small patio. So let me tell you what I will be taking to just kind of put on there. But again, I don't know how good the sun is going to be. So you guys are gonna to have to forgive me because this is the very next day. Um, day one, day one of the moving and I'll explain a little bit more on why it's day one and not completed, which I knew, but it was all a miscommunication, misunderstanding. But I did look at the last video and I wanted to show you what I was taking for the small patio. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and let you see this stand. So you've probably seen this stand in several of our videos. Um, it was a stand that we got from Big Lots and this helps with, with vertical gardening. So if you don't have a lot of space, which we don't, and you still wanna have some pots up here, you can. So we already got our lemon balm growing. This is some orange thyme that I started from seed, both of these, and they're growing. And then this is chocolate mint. Now this is Experiment down at the bottom, but I'm gonna switch that out and put the lemon verbena there. So we're just gonna take this one thing. We still got pots, y'all. I've just, after today, I have just came to the realization that this new place, you're gonna be able to plant a lot of things in ground. So you don't need all of these pots. So like the pixie grapes right here, I'm gonna leave. Then these are carnations right here that I planted in fall. And then over here, this is a John F. Kennedy rose bush that we're also going to leave. Like I really, let me turn the camera around again and talk to you all really quick. So again, this is day one. And every time that we have moved, uh, it has been, you know, like a little stressful. And like I told you all before, I probably should have prepped based on the way I worked a few weeks before. And so all of the things started coming. We prep really good. Um, I don't know where I left off, but yeah, I quit like sun Saturday in the attic like a couple times and then Chris pushed me, which I appreciate that. So the movers did come today and I knew, I knew like Chris assured me because I had started kind of packing up the storage room, like putting things in boxes. But when he called the movers and um, showed them, I was like, okay, well I can kind of stop, you know, kind of stop um, packing out so much if they're going to come do it. But I'm telling y'all, when they came and saw it, it was like, uh-uh, ain't nobody told us about this. 
And so we had to kind of go back and forth on the phone. But like I said, I totally understand. I'm just going to give y'all a snippet. It may still be, no, I can turn the lights on in here. But if you all have been with me from the beginning, um, I think I probably only showed this storage room once. Uh, when we first started with, if you've been with me from the beginning, you know we started out as Southern Entertaining because I do. I like to entertain. I like to see people happy. And um, I remember showing this storage area when I first um, when I first got it, but you probably haven't seen it then because I have. I've accumulated so much stuff, but this is what I'm going to tell y'all. Like this has really brought me to a realization that something gonna have to I, I I can't go through this again this was a lot like I have not felt this much stress and anxiety probably like I was telling Chris in a long time like in a few years yeah but let me just stop talking let me just give y'all a snippet um to let you see and like I told him I totally understand but I thought that we had to understand and that this is what it was going to be because if not, I could have been, you know, working towards this. But let, let me just give y'all a quick snippet. Okay, so the main problem, the main issue is there's a lot of glass. And these glasses are going to have to be wrapped. They are going to have to be wrapped um, individually. And then we got a lot of, like, just entertaining pieces from over time. <laughs> From over time, that's, that's the only way I can tell y'all. We got a lot of entertaining pieces. And so when we pulled this open, they were like, oh, hold up, wait a minute. We don't even have the things for this. Like a lot, when I say a lot of dishes, y'all, this is where the whole Southern entertaining comes from. Like it used to be a time where I would change my settings um, on my dining room, like every single month, I would change out the settings. I would change out a theme. I would do a different theme. But then also when we had guests over too, we would just, I would just pull out things and just make stuff. So it is, I mean, they used to be in boxes. And then when we got here, I got these shelves and we got the shelves and I just kind of set everything out so that I would be able to look at what I have. But I will tell you, it is like frustrating because I kind of, not all the way, kind of packed out like the first um, area and put those in bins and boxes. And it took me probably just coming out here from time to time it took me maybe like three days to get it to where all you have to do is roll it out but again once chris said well okay they're gonna pack it out i just kind of stopped like there's dishes like all the way to the back so i am and in these like right here let me just show you um when we stayed in italy it was a place called nove italy where from my understanding, I'm not sure. From my understanding, they supply like a lot of the Dillard's and different stores like that with their, um, what do you call it, serveware. So I would, we didn't stay very far from there and I would visit them <laughs> very often. So again, like I said, and then we just got a lot of props, you know, with the different things like that. So they're supposed to come back tomorrow for day two. This is why I said day one. So this is the issue right here. The issue is having enough of the dish pack and the um, bubble wrap and the paper in order to be able to pack these things out without, without breaking them basically. So that is just the serveware, but imagine all of the gardening things that I have, the different gardening pots that I have. Now again, I am leaving quite a bit but over here is where I just put out some of the things that I wanted to take with me. Um, I'll link the other video because um, there are only like a few pots that I really want to take. Um, my self-watering pots to be exact. So I don't have, like I have a lot of big pots and then I have some pots that I got on clearance that was in the... Um, that was in the storage too and so you know chris wasn't making it any better because he's like this the this the dollar tree the dollar general the dollar <laughs> it was like a store back there but um 
it's okay. We like, uh, let me just tell y'all, I'm okay with it because we've gone through this like pretty much almost every time we move, but it just hit different. And I think it hit different for us because it, this is coming out of our pockets. Like we have to pay for this. And the house inside was not bad at all. Like they got done with that pretty quick, but they have to come back just like separate tomorrow and just pack out the storage. And depending on the new place that we go, I don't know if they'll have a storage or not <laughs> yet. Um, if not, we'll probably have to try to get one built, but, um, they thought the garden was pretty. That's the positive side of it, which I thought so too. And I did tell them, you know, if they see anything that they wanted to, you know, they could, um, harvest some. And then also I encouraged them to grow something like, seriously, if, if I told them, even if y'all don't do it, but on a patio or just one container, I did. And I encouraged them to try to, to try to grow something. So um that's where that is on that one i don't even know what this video <laughs> is supposed to be about i'm supposed to be taking y'all on a journey but yeah so that was a stressful day for me um and then they have to come back tomorrow it is a few things that they still have to get inside but chris and i moved everything to the dining room that we're taking and so um it's almost full, but it's a, it's a table in there. It's not bad, but he keeps telling me like this apartment is not big at all. And that's what he keeps telling me because he went and got it. And just, you know how you just kind of go online and look at stuff. And sometimes when you go online, um, when you get there, it's kind of different. So he kept telling me it's not going to be a lot. So I have really like downsized, but now our things here will go into storage until we can, um, until we can find something else. But this right here after today is gonna to make us be like really aggressive with trying to find somewhere because we have to think about um, storage fees as well that is gonna to have to come out of our pockets. So we'll do that and then um, it's gonna be great. Like I, let me, let me just tell y'all this and I just wanna leave, with anyone who thinks about it, like I always find the positive side out of this. And though this is what I told Chris. Um, first of all, sometimes you got to give up something good for something great. So this this is the, the mentality that I'm looking at everything as. We're giving up something good for something great. Like I can already just imagine and see all of the things that we're going to do, the people we're going to help, the lives we're going to inspire. Like I can see that. But also oftentimes when we ask for something, we both agree that we want it to move. So sometimes when you ask for things, you got to be able to deal with things that come along with it, whether good, bad, or indif indifferent. So you can't, it would be great if everything was just like all peaches and cream, but if stumbling blocks or hiccups or little things come your way, you have to be ready for that. And you, you can't complain because remember, remember, this is what you asked for. So this is what, you know, I had to, you know, talk to Chris about today too. Like everything is not going to go our way. We're going to have little issues that come up, but don't complain because we asked for this and it's going to lead us to something greater and better. So that is the mentality that I'm looking at with all of it. Like I knew a few years ago after our youngest daughter graduated, I was like, we knew we didn't want to like be down here forever, forever. So once we start making those steps towards it, you have to be ready for the things that come our way. Like up until now, so far, so good. When the Packers came, ooh, not so good. A little, a little, a little side, but I'm not even using that as a side block. I'm like, okay, let's pivot and we'll do something else to where we can get to where we're going. And the thing that I like about renting for a few months is the simple fact, like if we don't like that area, we're not tied to it. So if we just had a went ahead, this is the way I think about it. If we just had a went ahead and bought, then we would have been tied to it. But we can kind of explore other areas, even different states. If we're just like, okay, I changed my mind. 
So we can pivot like that. So that's going to be great. Um, so I just wanted to keep you posted on that. Now it's starting to rain and I still got some things inside that I need to do and clean. So subscribe if you're not subscribed already because I'm going to keep you posted on this journey. It's going to be a, it's going to be a great one. Um, again, it's been a little anxious, a little stressful, but you know, hey, I feel like I can handle it, you know, so just um, come along with us for the ride. As always, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you share this video with your family and your friends. And if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and click the subscribe button and click the bell so that you can receive notification each and every time we upload a new video. Again, thank you all so, so much for watching. And until the next video, bye-bye.